word of God penetrate in us and change us and transform us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I would like to thank our prophet, the prophet of this commission, Prophet Isaka, who has allowed us as women to be, you know, we are so in, in, in freedom. At the same time, we respect our prophet. We go according to his um, direction and instruction, but he has led us to be. Hence, today I'm standing here to celebrate with you in a different and a grand style. Please give a round of applause to all the mothers. You know a mother is a special, special person, a special species. Hence, God created a woman at the end because he knew there was a lot of work to be done to a woman. There was a lot of speciality to be done to this woman in order for this woman to become a mother. Today, we are celebrating the women who are here in this commission. You know a woman, you know I like this acronym that says, if you are a woman, can I ask all the mothers, not just a woman, mother, if you are a M-O-T-H-E-R, stand up. Please give a round of applause to these lovely women. You know, the whole country today is celebrating you. It's celebrating your specialty. Not just this country, perhaps the whole world. It may differ with other countries, with other continents, but wide world, you are recognized as a mother because you are special. So if you are a mother, cherish the motherhood that is in you. Know that you are special. Even God calls you special. He calls you his own special person. So give a round of applause to yourself. You know, I love an acronym that says M stands for magnificent. You look so magnificent, mothers. You are outstanding. O stands for O. You are outstanding, hence you are called special. You know, T stands for tender. You may be tender, looking soft and tender, but you are strong inside. Hence, you are called imbogoto. You know, H stands for honorable. Don't accept anything that is mediocre. You are honored. You are an honorable woman. You know, E stands for exceptionally and excellent. R stands for remarkable. That's what you are. Give a round of applause to yourself. Today on this special day, I am a mother as well. I feel so special as well. I am a mother today and I want to honor other women. You know, there are women who have nurtured. You know women, a mother, let me just say a mother. It's not a woman's day. Let me correct myself. You know, a mother. Give a mother a lemon, she will turn it to lemonade. Give a mother the family a meal. That's how special, resourceful the mother is. So they're so special in, a, in, in different ways. I can stand here the whole day preaching about the mothers. I can have the whole sermon for the whole month, the whole, you know, the whole month to come, the whole year. But there's nothing compared to the specialty of a mother. You know what? Today, I just want to honor women, mothers, who've nurtured this church as well, who've nurtured this commission, who stood through trials, tribulations, lack, having, you know, they came, they stood. You know, I just want to honor them and call them and give them a token of appreciation. As I call their names, they'll have to come in the front. In the meantime, mothers, sit down. I'll, have, I'll ask you to stand up later. Thank you. I just want to call a few women just to honor them for the area of speciality and for the nurturing of the church. You know, the church stands, you know, a church needs to be mothered as well. And to you all women, 
know that you need to be here. You need to avail yourself and mother this church. Don't be a mother on Mother's Day. Don't be a mother for your household, for your children. Be a mother for the church as well. Nature this church. There's a lot of areas that are needing mothers. We are needed. We are in demand. You know, we are sought after. Hence, I say to you in the beginning, we are a, a rare species. So your skills are needed. Your availability is needed. Your presence is needed. So I'll call upon these ladies. First of all, I would like to honor, you know, I don't know that uh, item in, in, in English, that proverb, I don't know what it says. I don't want to do a direct translation in Zulu to English. But you know when you've got a mom, you go and cry to your mom. You know, you run quickly to your mom. Even this commission has a mother. Sinayu mama, we've got a bogoto. I just want to honor her in absentia and give her a special gift. Can one of my hostesses come through with Mama Lungi's gift? Please give a round of applause to our mama. There is a lady who come through to receive Mama's uh, gift. You know our mother has given a lot of effort to this church. She's given her all, she's giving her time, she's giving her resources, and she's always praying for you, each and every one of you. You might not have an, a, a direct, you know, uh, contact with her, but she knows you, she's praying for you. You know, she's a mother indeed, hence we recognize and appreciate her and love her in her, in her absentia. Thank you. That's our mama, Mama Lungi. Now, I would like to recognize, you know, the oldest, the eldest mama in the house. You know, come through, mama, grace us with your presence. We have something to appreciate you. <laughs> God, we like to say, live long, Mama. May God satisfy you with long life. You know, we, we feel there is integrity in a church where we've got older mamas. So we want you in our presence, you know, forevermore. Continue to live. May God bless you with more and more years. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, and then wow. next, I'd like to honor. You know, one of our mothers as well, she's a, she's a lady pastor. She's the second half, better half to Pastor Spiwe. Please give her a round of applause for Sister Tandy. You know, this is a special woman. You know, if you are a wife to Pastor Spiwa, we all know Pastor Spiwa, hey. Which means there is a lot of work, a lot of burden on your, on your shoulders. Please, when you pray, remember our Mama Lungi. When you pray, remember our, our, our mama, mama, mama Rapula. You know, there's a lot of work she's got. You know, she's, she's been standing and praying for Pastor Spiwa and the whole family. And last week was her birthday. So we've got, we've given her double, double appreciation because last week was her birthday. And sweet happy mother. mother. We la, love you, la, sweet la. mother. And then now I wanna re recognize and, and you know, appreciate other women as well. As I call you, come to the front. I'll be just giving a brief, uh, some caption as you come through so that because time is no longer on our side. I would like to call Mama Musolwa. Mama Musolwa, we, we see you. Yes. Sweet mother, we 
love you. Ria, 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 ria. Sweet mother. We appreciate you. Sweet mother. Mama, Mama Msola, we see you when you dedicate your time to come to this commission, day in, day out. So it's not in vain. We recognize you today. We say, Happy Mother's Day. Enjoy your gift. Sweet mother. And then the next, we call the leader of uh, women, we DC, but in the elder group. Mama Karina, come through. Sweet mother, we love you. You know, I love this woman. She's early, she's an early bird. She comes early, waiting for the church to open. Sleeps in the car. Every time I'm driving through to the parking, she's there waiting for the church to open. She's the first person to come here. You know, first, uh, more than all of you. So give a round of applause to her. Now I would like to call our next mama. You know, the, you know in this church, the older women are doing more than the younger one. So Psalms 92 is a reality where it says, in your old age, you still bear fruit. There are some women here who are bearing fruit even after pension. They're still working for the Lord. I would like to call Mama Rachel and Mama Zuziwe. I'm not sure how far they are. There is Mama Zuzwe there. I want her to come in the front. The cameras must see her. She must come and grace us with her presence. Sweet mother. What a chess. We love you. work so hard. They work in the midnight, daytime, moonlighting, working for the Lord. Today, mothers, women of God, I'd like to say your working is not in vain. I'm giving you these gifts, but this is an understatement. There's a lot that God will do in your lives. Happy Mother's Day to you. Next, I would like to call, you know, one of the mothers who's always, who's a worshiper. She worships, not just singing. She ululates. Mama will sing. Oh, my word. Two. You know, this is a special woman. She's got a, 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 this rare kind of ululating. I don't know if you've, you've heard it in the choir. Mama Bus, we are saying your ululating is not in vain. It has become a monument in heaven. Happy Mother's Day to you too. <laughs> Next, I 
next I'll recognize, you know this church? We always eat a lot, dine a lot, drink a lot, feast a lot. But there's this woman, a rare species, guys, who always cooking for this church, daytime, nighttime. Ruth Musolo and Betsy. <laughs> You know the feasting you always do in church, eating until you go and sleep. This is the woman behind the feasting. This is the woman behind the cakes. As we DC women of divine connections, when we have teas, she's behind the cake, she's behind the baking. Please give a round of applause to this woman. And next, I want to recognize, behind us, there is a beautiful photo booth. There is a woman, there is a woman who did that. It's a hand of a woman. And she's, she did not just do it today. She's been doing it. You know, she comes with the children, she does this. Hallelujah. Women of God. Give a round of applause to Sister Roland, Lorraine Mabule. Order. Sweet order. You know, she's so artistic. And she's always ready for an assignment. When you tell her, she say, okay, mama, I'll do it. Please give a round of applause to her. Next, I want to recognize the lady who walks miles and miles and miles and miles. You know, God bless the feet of this woman. Bless the hands of this woman. Bless the thinking of this woman. You know, this woman is the one who coordinates all the things. Things are in order because of her. She organizes, she wakes up early to come to church, make sure everything goes well and is done well. Please give a round of applause to Sister Mama Pauline Barraza. Sweet brother. Sweet brother. Sweet brother. Is the lady behind coordinating, organizing? Making sure everything is aligned. Ah. She's our COC. Happy Mother's Day, COC. Mama T. Next, I'll recognize one of the ladies, two of them, in fact, making sure it's clean today. It's not, you are not sneezing here. They make sure they come and clean and, uh, and make sure they, 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 they supervise the people who are cleaning. They head the cleaning department, sanctuary keeping. Please give a round of applause as I call Sister Cindy and Mama Mavis. Sweet mother. Sweet mother. Real, 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 real. Sweet These are the women behind tidiness in the church. They say cleanliness is next to godliness. So they are behind. Please give a round of applause to them. Next, I'll call a woman. You know, this woman makes me laugh before I call her. You know, when I was forming a team for WDC, I was praying to say, God, who can I put in the team? And I was liaising with Mama Lungi. And, you know, 
to form a team, my cabinet, my uh, tribe, you know. When I confronted her, she was reluctant. But the way she's performing, the way she's leading, they ended up giving her a name, Ramaphosa. Please give a round of applause to Song Sibongu Musa, Mrs. Ndlovu. <laughs> She's one of the leaders in the WDC. I think you know her. She's always having meetings day in, day out, Sunday after Sunday. Hence, she's called Ramaphosa. You know, her group is always meeting. Come, come rain or sunshine, they are meeting somewhere there. She will say, prayer line or elders. Prayer line or elders. Please give a round of applause to a happy Mother's Day, Mrs. Njobu. <laughs> Next, I would like to call one of the ladies. She's, uh, she used to be based in another city. Then she came to, to Jobek. And when she came here, it was like she's always been here. We used to just see her through the, the, you know, the online. But she, she came here. She's now full-time here. You know, she's a woman of God. When she opens her mouth, she speaks with wisdom. She speaks the word of God. She's an intercessor for the church. You know, I would like to say, Sister Patience, please come through. This is a remarkable woman of God. We were so blessed on Saturday early morning hours when we had our Deborah Arise session, she blessed us. You know what? She made heaven come down, full of the Holy Ghost. So, happy Mother's Day to you, Sister Patience. We love you, appreciate you. Welcome again in Hauteng. Sweet mother. You know, there's this woman. I cannot, I should have called this woman with uh, Sister um, Ruth Mbeth. Because we don't do any cooking, any serving, catering, without this woman making sure she puts a hand, she contributes. This is a woman of God, giving the finance in the house. Please welcome Sister Stella. Sweet mother. Sweet mother. This woman is outstanding. You don't have to ask for those containers. You know those white containers that you use for food? She owns a company. She's the woman behind that. You've got a function, contact her. Whenever we have a function, we have an event as women of divine connections or the church is eating and feasting. Hence, I was saying I should have called her with Mama Betsy. She gives those things. She comes and gives the church. Please give a round of applause. She's one of the leaders in the WDC. Now I would like to call. It seems I've called, I've, I've called a lot of ladies. One of the ladies, you are seated here. She's out there with your children, nurturing them, giving them love, teaching them. I'm not sure if she's here now. Please give a round of applause to Sister Soneni, Mama Mishi. Can someone tell her, and she must come up running, she has to come to the front and receive a gift. Mama Mishi, we see you. You're up and down, up, down, up the steps, down. Taking the food, taking the drinks, teaching the children. Coming, going is not in vain. Happy Mother's Day. May God bless you. Now I would like to, 
to honor. You know, when you do not have security, you know, you, you won't be comfortable to sit here. There is a woman who stands by the door day in, day out, January to December, Monday to Sunday. If ever we've got, um, we are open, we have a, an event or we have a service. So we'd like to honor her for standing by the door while you're seated and enjoying inside the church. Please give a round of applause to Sister Mama Mpumi. Mother's Day, we see you standing by the door, being a security. Your standing is not in vain. May God bless you. You see, it's all the mothers that are naturing, that are make, uh, making sure things align in the church. Hence, we're honoring them with a token of our appreciation today. Um, there's a lady that I wanted to honor. I don't see her today. Is uh, Sister Sophie uh, Apane or Afane here? I'll forfeit the gift if she is not here. But anyway, she deserves it. We'll keep it. All right. Thank you, women of, 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 of Divine Connections, for putting together the seeds that we have given so that we're able today to honor other women. I may not be able to honor each and every one of you, but I have some a small uh, appreciation of, of tokens that I have. Can I ask all the mothers to stand again? All right. You know, if you're a mother, you have to, to be supportive. You are supportive to your family. You are supportive to the community, to your, to your household, to your spouse, to your children. You are also supportive to your ministry that you are planted into. So, women, we did send out in the groups to say, today, come dressed in African print. The reason for African print, I wanted for us to symbolize that an African woman does not only care for her household, her children. An African woman has the biggest heart. You care for the community. You care for the nation. You are a mother of nations. Hence, our dress code was supposed to be an African print to show that. If you are not an African print, please, can I ask you to sit down with humbleness. Thank you. So we've got appreciation of tokens to those who have paid detail, who have paid attention. I know every woman has something that's African in their house. So there's no way you could have not had anything. Please, my hostesses, hand out the gifts.
that token of appreciation is to say happy Mother's Day to you women. And if you're not wearing African print and you were at the Deborah Arise, please stand up. We had prayers here in the church Saturday morning yesterday, early in the morning, praying for all of you, for the church, for your children, children's children, for your health, for your wealth, for your businesses and your careers. If you were in the Deborah Arise and you are not wearing you and you are not wearing African prints, please stand up. Can you go and get your, your gift at the back? So, ladies, because I am a good mother, I am I've got a tender heart. So, can you give the other ladies? Do we still have more? Can you give the other ladies who do not have the African... Please start with the choir, all of them. So other women without African print, you can stand up. Happy and happy and happiest Mother's Day to you all women. Please do not forget to call your moms, your aunts, and every other woman and wish them a happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Shalom. Shalom.